Hey guys, I'm back again. Um, as you can see, I'm in a change of setting. I'm in my sitting room. Um, why not change it up, get a little different lighting, get a little different atmosphere change, boom. Okay, so um, I, I was supposed to have edited my New York trip part two. I haven't done it yet. If I'm honest, I haven't done it because I'm busy, I'm stressed. Um, and there are more important things to do in my life right now. Um, as you may have seen in my last video, where I said when I said that I quit my job, I started my own business. So, who knew that starting your own business would be so stressful? It is actually so stressful. Instead of them to be teaching people how to do business in school, they teach people pie. What am I doing with pie? The only pie that I care about is chicken pie and any pie that I can eat. Bakewell pie, apple pie, whatever pie it is. I don't care about 3.14 because right now I'm not using that in my life. They should be teaching people how to do business, um, how to set up your business, how to run a business, how, what things it takes within the business keep the business going i'm only learning this stuff now i'm still in the very beginning stages of setting up my business so i've registered my business um we have a name and if you watch my video from last time it it, it was this is it but due to michael jackson having his tour called this is it it's no longer this is it so it's a very slight change to this is it so d-i-s is it um i wanted to keep that flow that i had i didn't want to change it too much i was changing it i was thinking of what it is and just you no know, just keep this is it it's not every day perfect speech this is it no this is it um so yeah i am so stressed um i always feel like i'm not i should be doing something to do with the business but i've done stuff and then i realize i haven't done stuff and then i do more stuff and i'm like okay well no i haven't done that i need to find this and i need to find that like it's so it's actually very stressful um and just like the rest of the world, you know, I have anxiety. So sometimes I'll sit there and just be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'll just sit there and start panicking. Like, I won't do anything after. So I'm somebody that internalizes pretty much everything. I don't ever speak out because I don't ever feel like my problems are that big. And I don't like to do, like, to... I don't like to express the way I feel to people because again I, I don't feel like my problems are ever that big and I feel like there are people in the world that are suffering a lot more than I am. I'm not suffering, I'm just just living in silence, which is a bad thing. Um but I I just I think it's it's easy to just let things out because you know you bottle it up and then you have a huge breakdown and then that's just not great for your life so what was i even saying i think i was saying just like the world, i want things to be done now and unfortunately with business i'm seeing that you have to be extremely patient at, at times i don't want to be patient I want things to be done now so in terms of the business I want the website to be set up now I want the clothes to be printed now I want money now I want um, everything that I want to do with my business I want it to just be done now because pardon me waiting can just waiting makes me anxious and then I feel like I'm not doing things correctly which is stupid but uh, you know it is what it is um 
So yeah, except for being stressed and anxious and all those things, I am actually, I'm, I'm okay. Like I'm trying to keep in good spirits because I know that the future will, will be positive and it will be filled with all the things that I've wanted to do. Like this clothing life thing, I wanted to do it for quite a while. I've had, um, I've worked with somebody to create a clothing line that um, was supposed to be launched like maybe, or was launched um, maybe three years ago, um, but that didn't work out for, for both of us. Um, and even before then, I've always seen clothes and thought, oh, I wish that could be on a t-shirt, or I wish that would be on a pair of trousers, or I wish I had these trousers that had this on it, or whatever. And then now I can just create it myself. But again, the waiting factor is the thing that irritates me the most, because I have to wait for things to be done. So I can design it immediately, but then I have to wait to get a good quote. And another thing, not that I thought that setting up a business would be easy or that it would be um, cheap, but people now like setting up a business is expensive. It's expensive, and you can't. The f the thing that makes it expensive is that you have to get samples of things first. If if I could just get things done knowing that the quality will be exceptional, I will just do it. But you can't do that. You have to get samples first. And then, obviously, the samples cost money. And then a lot, with a lot of the companies that I'm trying to get samples from, you have to pay, like, say if I pay £1.50 per design, if I buy it in bulk, if I buy it singularly, it's like, Twelve pounds or something like that. It's like don't they do like sample prices for people to know what's going on? Like I can't just throw you my money and just and then say if it doesn't even come out that good and I've just spent money on something that doesn't even look good. Just it's expensive and it's it's difficult. The one thing I really want is just to get the clothes out of there so people can see what I've been working on and and I really just want to see people wearing my clothes like that I've designed that's the most exciting thing um, for me it's not even about the money just to see that what I've designed people are actually wearing it people actually like what I've designed um, and obviously I'm, I don't know why I say it's not about the money it's about the money because I want to see how much I can actually sell with the clothes that I've designed. Like that, I think that's the, the when I think about it, that really excites me. Like just all of that. But again, everything takes time, and I have to be patient. And I'm trying to be patient, but woo, I'm just I'm losing it small. You know, if the, do you know what? As I was having this conversation with somebody the other day, the school curriculum needs to be changed because this um, 1800 school curriculum that they're teaching people is ridiculous. Not that I knew in school what I wanted to be when I was older, but you know, I feel like if the curriculum was more up to date with what's happening now, there's loads of young people setting up businesses and um, becoming entrepreneurs and all that stuff I wish school had taught me how to become an entrepreneur like um, what did I even study in school? I studied geography I feel like when you study geography you should also study it should just be like compulsory to study a language too because like even if it's a, like French or Spanish French and Spanish is are quite universal throughout the world. There's multiple places in the world that speak French and that speak Spanish. <coughs> and I studied what else did I study? I can't remember what I studied. It's such a long time ago. Um, what did I study? I studied food tech, but if I'm honest, I won't say that it was a waste of time, but 
I wish I had chosen another subject like maybe art because if I had studied art I probably wouldn't would have been a lot further within my photography career because I only discovered that I wanted to be a photographer when I was like 21 if I studied art, I maybe would have found photography a lot sooner. If you can hear that noise behind me, sorry guys, it's people downstairs outside drilling, just making up noise in my house. Um, but yeah, just uh, the curriculum needs to be changed, it needs to be more up to date because I feel like children would be, be able to benefit and kind of have some sort of gist of where they want to be and what they want to do and they would have the experience in from they would have the experience of oh, what am I trying to say? You guys know what I'm trying to say. Just you get what I'm trying to say in it. This is it. Um Yeah. Just stress in life. Yeah, I'm just here to let you guys know that I'm here, I'm alive, I'm just very stressed out and I have loads of things that I'm trying to do um, at once and it at times can be very stressful so I don't feel like communicating with people, I don't feel like making videos sometimes. Hopefully things will pick up in the next few weeks and you know I can have some sort of consistency when it comes to doing stuff on YouTube um because right now it's stress on the stress and that's it so as I always say guys at the end of my videos please like share and subscribe and I shall 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 be back with you as soon as I can um yeah peace